The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, so many people were crowded together that they were trampling each other underfoot. Jesus began to speak, first to his disciples. Beware of the leaven, that is, the hypocrisy of the Pharisees. There is nothing concealed that will not be revealed. There is nothing secret that will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the darkness will be heard in the light, and what you have whispered behind closed doors will be proclaimed on the rooftops. I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but after that can do no more. I shall show you whom you should fear. Be afraid of the one who, after killing, has the power to cast into Gehenna. Yes, I tell you, be afraid of that one. Are not five sparrows sold for two small coins? Yet not one of them has escaped the notice of God. Even the hairs of your head have all been counted. But do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. The Gospel of the Lord. I was troubled early this morning. It troubled, this gospel troubled me a little bit this morning. And what troubled me is when Jesus says, be afraid of the one who has the power to cast into Gehenna. And it caused me to reflect upon my own sinfulness. And I did an examination of conscience. But the reason this really troubled me, I think, more this morning was because of what I had read just before I read the gospel this morning. I read an article published by the Catholic News Service about the happenings in New Orleans over the past few days. I'm sure you've read that there was a priest who has been accused of molestation of a child recently, and another priest who desecrated an altar in his parish. It was heinous. The article said this morning that a few days ago, a group of people, a small group of people in New Orleans wanted to pray the rosary for the holiness of priests. And what they did is that there was a group, a group called the rector of the seminary in New Orleans, Notre Dame on Carrollton Avenue, and asked if they could pray there. And uh, he agreed to it and figured that there would be a, a 10 or 12 people there. Well, the morning that it happened, the rector was away from the seminary. I believe he was celebrating Mass in a parish. And when he came back, he found 200 people in front of the seminary praying for the holiness of priests. I hope that the seminarians there saw that. And I hope that the rector pointed that out to them very clearly when he returned. Because, brothers and sisters, um, priests are human beings, yeah, but we, are, we must be holy people. I think that you deserve that. And I think that Jesus is calling for that when he says in this gospel, I tell you, be afraid of this, the one who has the power to cast into Gehenna. And so as people of faith, let us rise and let us offer our intercessory prayer. Indeed, today on this day when Jesus died, let us pray for the forgiveness of our own sins. For this we pray to the Lord. Let us pray for the holiness of priests, especially in formation and that that holiness may endure for the rest of their lives. For this we pray to the Lord. Let us pray in thanksgiving for the St. Vincent de Paul Society, who deeply cares and lovingly cares for the poor and homeless in our place of Biloxi. For this we pray to the Lord. 
And for what else shall we pray this morning? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church will continue to go forth towards those who are in need of forgiveness, teaching them the truth of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for the intention of our Mass this morning. Our Mass is being offered for the repose of the souls of Herbert and Bertha MacDonald. May they rest in peace, enjoying the kingdom of God. For this we pray to the Lord. O gracious Father, on this Friday, with a sense of sin in our hearts, we approach you asking for you to hear us and to forgive us. For we pray all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 